This is Nightmares and Gem Daydreams, episode 9. Uh, this, I, I, uh, gave my thoughts on it, but, you know, you and Harry, uh, but you took your time with me to talk about this episode and you might hear my thoughts on it. So now here's my review on it. We, you heard my, my side of review and your, your side of review. Uh, but I, anyway, my, for sure, but yeah, yeah, but basically, I'm reviewing Nightmares and Daydreams, episode 9 of season 3 of Avatar, The Last Airbender. So, the invasion to invade the Fire Nation is in four days, and Ames is freaking out. <laughs> And he can't sleep during those three days at all. So he starts to hallucinate. And the nightmare just keeps on getting worse and worse. To a point he sees the eyeless... Um... Toph. Eyeless... Eyeless... Toph. And all of his friends that he knows and loves and cares about. All three of them. All of his friends knows he loves and cares about. Being brutally tortured. So he decides that he's not going to sleep. He's going to stay away. He's not he's going to stay away through the invasion, and not sleep. So he starts hallucinating. Meanwhile, Prince Zuko has starts to enjoy the luxury of being a prince with his girlfriend and spending more time, quality time with his girlfriend. And uh, he leaves her in the next episode. By dumping her. Uh, because he's going to help the Avatar. And, uh... Yeah, he can't help but feel... He's not himself. Even though he's, he's incredibly welcome. And, uh, he really feels this at the mean that... When he was right next to his father's side. He realized that he's not himself anymore. To a point he doesn't even recognize who he is anymore. And he hasn't been himself through at all the entire run of the series until we saw flashbacks of the real Zuko. Of him being truly himself, but that's what caused him to be banished and what gave him that uh, burn, sc uh, that burn scar that he carries. Because he was being himself. And being honest to himself. That his mother really loved a lot. So. Um, so he's lost. And uh, ends on that note. And ends on the note. That's Zuko's character. For, it ends on his. That note for Zuko's character. But on Ains character. And he ends with. Uh, his friends making him a nice warm bed. Oh, that's nice and fucking me out of the goat. And they figured it would take the crazy away. <laughs> if he had night nice sleep. Uh, and uh, his, his friends point out that he's acting, uh, point out all these reasons to talk this, sometimes to talk this comes on saying, you're acting downright weird. <laughs> Yeah, uh, um, it ends with, uh, uh, his friends saying, saying they have total confidence in him having a good night rest. And that's one of my top four favorite episodes of all time of the series. And, uh, yeah, I can't remember if this is number three or number four. But I know someone one number one would get, going to get there eventually. I know what you know when we get there. So what were all the other fours? And I remember three of them, but I can't remember the fourth one. I think I reviewed it. Oh yeah, the runaway.
And yeah, so I recommend this episode.